Hello there, it's Yohani and I'm Magnus. Today we're going to do a little video, a little more of ourselves. We uploaded like in the past few weeks like videos that like we do stuff but you don't really know us. Yes, so uh, this one is going to tell you like more about us. Yeah. Who we are, who yeah. we are, how old are we? The first thing that we're going to do is when we were born, what the date was and something special about it. Well, I was born on the 23rd of September 1995. I'm 19! Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn 20 later this year. I was born on my mother's birthday, so we share the same birthday. So it's like a family thing because my um, aunt and my grandfather all were also has the same birthday. It's like That's a generation cool. thing, actually. Yeah, that was my birthday special thing when I was born. Okay, it was so yours. I was born on the 8th of December mm. 1993. Which makes me 19 as well. Yeah. So I'm like younger than the rest of my peers. An interesting fact about my birth is my great grandfather was born on the 8th of December as well. That's so cool. we share the same birthday. When I was little, I was a bit mad and crazy. So my mother told me. <laughs> I was a bit naughtier than now. The one thing she told me was um, I was in a daycare from like I think four years old. And when the kids like stole or take my toys, I would like hit them like, oh, on wow. the arm or like on the shoulder. <laughs> yeah. And this one girl, this is like really extreme, I can't believe I didn't get this. Um, I took a break and like busted open her head. Like she yeah. got stitches. I mean, my mother wanted to like pick me up in the afternoon, she would like cry because what is she going to do with me at home? <laughs> she would like cry at the daycare lady and she would like cry because she doesn't want to take me home because I'm like so crazy and... Yeah, my story is not going to talk about <laughs> mom. Okay, but just tell it anyway. Okay, yeah, so I, when I was little, we still go to church every Sunday. Um, and so I didn't want to go to this church. <laughs> <laughs> So I sat like in the ground in front of the house and, we, and I ate ground because I... What? Yeah, I ate the mud because I didn't want to go to church uh, and stuff like that. I still have like a little bit. Just joking. Oh, okay. So yeah, I used to eat mud. It was... I can't remember what it tastes like, but yeah. Okay. And I also yeah. ate like dog um, food. Oh my word, the dog pellets. Yes, I used to eat it like, I, not, not like swallow in, but I used to like um, suck on it oh. and spit it out like That's that. That's really disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I used to do that when I was little. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. In our school years, we had quite some tales to tell, mm. I think. My, I, I went to like three schools during my school years. Wow. I was first like in a former school, we were a big um, primary school. Mm -hmm. And then I went to high school. And it, high school was nice, I really liked it, mm -hmm. and I sort of, sort of missed it actually. I, mm -hmm. when, when I was in high school, I would have probably said, I want to finish, I want to go out, I don't want to do this anymore, nice. I don't want to wear my uniform, anything. But now that I'm here, I think I actually miss it. And one of the things that I really remember is my technical drawing um, teacher went like for operation and he was put off for like I think three months or so. Wow. And the um, deputy head come mm -hmm. and um, overseas classes and stuff but she was quite uh you were quite afraid of her she mm, speak you listen, remember that. really she was like blah 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 and you will listen yeah so um actually one time we um like locked her out of the classroom <laughs> yeah because i i don't know, know remember why we did it but she was like Bad and, kids. yeah she was like you have to be extremely quiet all the time you can <laughs> never speak you cannot even ask if you didn't understand anything you didn't ask you really didn't want to and so we locked her out of the room and she came in there and she felt on the doorknob and nobody opened or was inside or something and so she mm. just left. She thought she didn't have a closet. <laughs> That's so, very cool. So the next day we didn't get into any trouble. She thought she, she just thought we didn't have clothes then. Nice. So it was actually quite cool actually. Yeah, cool. yeah, so that is my school memories. When I was in primary school, I went to like just two schools, primary school and high school. Was I was eight boy. Eight boy. <laughs> anyway, um, so I enjoyed primary school, but high school was pretty much the best, mm -hmm. I think, best memories made like ever. Yes. And one teacher I remembered was my Afrikaans teacher. She was a bit like crazy. Good in the head. 
she had like red hair, which gives her like <laughs> more craziness, I think. And when we read like a set workbook, she would like read and suddenly stop. And she would like look in the air, like around the clothes and say, she hears voices. And oh, everyone, wait, is like, <laughs> everyone is like looking around. I think that was a little bit crazy, she would like, look around. And we would like prank her, like sometimes mm. when we like, before class, we would like discuss it and something like oh we would sneeze and someone would like begin to sneeze and everybody sneezes and she would like look very confused <laughs> doesn't know what's going on and oh and one more thing she would um, scream like opera scream like oh i've heard this sometimes currently we're studying urban and regional planning yeah at, both of us yeah both of us, both of us. <laughs> at the northwest university in Portstone, south, yes. south africa second year so when I was like accepted or like slash not accepted at the university because I applied to another university I didn't get accepted. So I applied to Pucker in V E Pucker in W U Pucker Northwest. And I was like come I was like here and I had like accommodation, um, everything was paid. Situation day where you stand like in the long lines mm. waiting. Um, I got at the front glass thing where the lady like ticks off the things and it just like everything yeah. is like, right. And I was like, she was, oh, you're not accepted yet. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, uh, like my heart dropped. But what do I do now? I'm like more than a thousand kilometers away from home. And, what do I do? So <laughs> she just like phone people and I had to like a test, an application test. And so then I was accepted. That's quite scary actually. Yes. To yeah. not be, to be yeah, not accepted. Yes. So, so um, that's me. Yeah, in my university uh, so far, well, my registration is always play a blind mess. I don't know why it always is. I think um, everyone's like, always yeah, a mess. because admin at this university sucks actually <laughs> quite a lot. Yes. Because the first year when I applied, I got like the um, in front, like at the counters, mm. when I got in front of the counters. Yeah, they said I was disabled. Uh, and I was like, but I'm not disabled. And they said, oh, but you you are colorblind, that's disabled. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. And so um, they said that I must give like all the papers I say I'm colorblind and they will give like special treatment for me and <laughs> everything. <laughs> and I was like, okay, but can't you just scrap it because there's nothing you can do for colorblind. Like so um, I they, they um, get it off my record and stuff. So um, according to the book, um, a healthy person now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was a special needs person. Special needs oh, I was a special needs. My second registration, I was registered for a subject that was given at the book like four years ago and not anymore. I'm like, well, yes. I've invented time traveling actually. Mm. So I'm gonna like take an extra subject. But then I realized I'm not registered for a subject that I must take now. So that was quite like fear bricks uh, mm. now because you go to this person and says, no, you must go to that person. Yes, I'm going to like that person. Around yeah. all over the place. And the book is not a small place yeah. if you on an administration day. Yeah. Really, it sucks. Yeah, but I really enjoy university. It's mm. good. It makes you independent, I think. That is my university, yes. Please. You better like this video, so you give it a thumbs up. You will like this video, so give it a thumbs up. So, and leave a comment down below. And like right down below. <laughs> and check us in Facebook and on Twitter. Yes, do that. <laughs> so, cheers. Uh -huh. Boom.